The following match is a Extreme Rules match scheduled for one fall and it is for the NCW Hardcore Championship. Seth Goldman taking the open challenge here tonight. A former tag team champion and a former cruiserweight champion but now looking to add to his collection in his very young career with a hardcore championship open challenge victory however can Seth Goldman get the job done against a new Japan legend like Naito Look at that face of focus. And maybe hidden behind a mask, but he is dead set on capturing a hardcore title here tonight. We saw Seth Goldman in the tag team tournament. I mean, not tournament. Um, tag team, 15 tag team battle royale last week. His partner, Lucha Rainbow. I wonder what kind of alliance they have. What kind of deal they have. But questions will be answered, I'm sure, in the near future. But for now, it is all about. Seth Goldman versus the new NCW Hardcore Champion Tetsuya Naito who defeated of all people Spike Masters to win that title last episode you can go back and watch it if you already haven't but Tetsuya Naito carrying that hardcore title to the ring for the very first time in his career New Japan doesn't have a hardcore championship title but this is something for the hardcore fan base and this is going to be a match to remember will it be the leader of Los what is it Los it Ignum omelet? I know. It is really hard to pronounce for me, but either way, we will see the v Van Quilico taking on the Nightmare Cruiserweight. Will we see a Destiano? Will we see a Gold to Black? And will we see a new hardcore champion? That is what we will find out in a very, maybe a long time. I don't know. But we will find that out soon. As the challenger, a former NCW Cruiserweight champion and a former Alpha Tag Team champion, the number one contender for the hardcore title, Seth Goldman, taking on a multi-time New Japan champion, a two-time winner of the G1 Climax and the reigning defending undisputed hardcore champion of the world Tetsuya Naito we've seen what wrestlers from New Japan have done in NCW Kenny Omega former Intercontinental and World Champion Okada former Alpha Champion and Naito a f the current Hardcore Champion and here we go Extreme Rules is on as 
Goldman starting off with that right hand, but got those back elbows. Oh! And a zigzag esque move there as Naito looking for a weapon possibly early. No. Seth Goldman stopping him. He's starting to do more damage with his hands than he does will with a weapon, at least for now, as he nails the double stomps to the chest of the Ventrilico. Ventrilico? Ventrilico, yes. Leads away Seth Goldman dominating early. Oh, and a jawbreaker counter. Here he goes, hooks the arm. Oh, and a bat arm trapped back suplex as Naito Irish whips the challenger back into the ring and nails the knee to the back tried for a slap good counter there the f vicious forearm oh and a sharp kick to the chest there by Seth Goldman hooks her head and a sharp knee once again to the face and look at these sharp kicks oh and an arm hook suplex Seth Goldman playing mind games with the tranquilico the man of mind games himself now looking for a power looking for a power bomb no More of a power bomb version of the snake eyes. Oh, and there's that running bicycle knee strike. And this could be it. All she wrote, gold to black. And goes for the cover, no rope breaks in a hardcore match. One, two. I wonder where the what does Seth Goldman do here? As he nails a stomp to the gut. Oh, tried for a splash, misses the contact. A snapman takedown by Naito, and now looking to rake the eyes. Oh, look at that knee bar. Is Seth Goldman going to tap here? No. Able to break out with those slaps to the leg. And a forearm. Damage may have been done to the leg, however. That is definitely a majority of Seth Goldman's game plan. Those vicious knee strikes and those, that roundhouse kick. The gold to black. counter European uppercut oh blocked hangs it Naito up on the top rope goes for a quick pin attempt new hardcore champion only a two count oh and a soccer ball kick right to the back Blocks a kick to the chest. Seth Goldman showing a little bit more speed there than Naito. And here he goes, looking to wrap up, wrap his arm up. Tequila, no, not a continue. An arm trapped arm bar. And Naito is somehow able to escape. Shot to the face, Destiano incoming and that could be it Naito looking to retain one two Ooh, Seth Goldman able to kick out there showing a lot of guts tonight for that hardcore title but Naito believing Seth Goldman is done oh back elbow here goes looking Suplex. 
Naito able to catch Seth Goldman that counter inverted DDT but now Seth Goldman he wants Naito to know where he's placed before his lights fade to black from gold to black oh and we almost saw from hardcore champion to new hardcore champion but no Naito able to kick out a two kick uh, two gold to blacks here we go look at DDT Naito busted open these men do not need weapons they are physical enough but Naito just getting the shoulder up there off that DDT that busted him wide open and Seth Goldman now Irish whip into the corner oh counter there you go looking to set Naito up on the top rope what in the world does he have in mind here what is he doing what is he up to superplex stealing Naito's own signature move and it goes for the quick pin attempt one two three no Naito able to kick out there he goes looking maybe power slam got countered Veta DDT but a European uppercut from Goldman there he goes arm trap suplex arm hook suplex I should say and there's that bicycle knee again that brings down I would say Akata but Naito and here we go Seth Goldman thought he could have been looking to end it there but no shot to the gut Naito here he goes Destiano that could be it hooks the leg one two three no these fans are gonna go home happy this is a classic match but this time Naito goes for the cover feet on the ropes two and again Seth Goldman kicking out this is a hardcore title match you can do anything you want and the referee can't say otherwise but a DDT again from Seth Goldman and Naito in a world of trouble as he gets picked up go to black for a third time and that could be it we have a new hardcore champion one two three no Naito somehow some way keeping this fight going at a risk to his career and his health this Seth Goldman looking for a suplex to the hardcore champion these two men haven't used a weapon nor have they needed to oh and there's another bicycle knee that could be it for Naito and his hardcore championship one two no where is Naito getting this fight from how is he still going Seth Goldman doesn't know what to do but he knows to end it and I think it's time to end it but he's looking for a fourth and final goal to black and goes straight in for the cover one two three and finally Naito has been put to rest and Seth Goldman's rise as hardcore champion begins not only is he the nightmare of the cruiserweights he is now the nightmare of the extreme as he is now the new NCW hardcore champion in a classic five-star match but well, you gotta wonder what what kind of condition is Naito in 
after taking such physical attacks from Seth Goldman but now he can stand tall at the top of the hardcore division hardcore championship intact and that is another championship added to his list of accomplishments thus far cruiserweight tag and now hardcore champions three belts in the span of two months three months Here we go, tag team, tag team match scheduled for one fall. <laughs> and we got Corvo Jack teaming up with his protege once again, Tizda. Last time we saw them in tag team action together, that wasn't the 15 man over the top rope battle royale we saw them lose to Sabin and Phillips but now another lesson to be learned that they are looking to go up against the number one contenders for the undisputed tag team titles if you can't challenge the best then you go for the next best thing and that is the number one contenders the chick magnets who won that 15 men over the top rope battle royale these two men have a history with the tag team champions the pretty boy Flynn Adams and then Tony Natoli they were the they were in the finals of the Omega Tag Team Tournaments but they lost the belt I mean they lost the opportunity to become the champions losing to Kid Stack and King Gutter who went on to unify the tag team titles now with all these tag teams together it was it might have been forever for them to get back in the title picture when you got teams like Anarchy 5, Unstable, Death Club, among others. But they were able to win that 15 man, 15 team battle royale. And now they can dance with the champs once again at NCW Meltdown for the undisputed. NCW tag team titles but first they got to get through Tizza and Corvo Jack and here we go Flint Adams across the ring takes down Tizza and now here comes a brutal assault from the amateur wrestling champion but a stiff German suplex from the pretty boy. I don't know if he was a champion, but he was an amateur wrestler. And he could be the next undisputed tag team champion of NCW. As he's taken complete control. Oh, almost complete control, but a split legged arm drag from Tizda. And a tag made to his teacher, I would say, Sensei. Corvo Jack, who takes down the pretty boy with that arm bar, arm drag. No, arm wrench. Either way, effective nonetheless, but Flynn Adams there to counter. And hooks to the head. What's he got in mind? European uppercut. 
Tried for a right hook, got counter with a right forearm. Corvo Jack kicked to the gut there. And here he goes, boot to the face. And down goes the pretty boy. Corvo Jack not even letting him crawl as he goes for a springboard splash. There he picks him up, looking. Oh, counted, inverted DDT. As a pretty boy looking to make the tag. To Tony Natoli, who has had a pretty good career thus far, in defeating Adam Saban in his debut. He was placed in the tag team tournament with Flynn Adams, got up to the final round before they decided this is definitely a thing and became the chick magnets. Oh, as he drops the forearm right across the jaw. Tony Natoli says, our fate will end at the tag team titles at the top of the tag team division. And our reign will begin. The fate of us being challenges will be over. But not if Corvo Jack has anything to say about it. Wants to put in a good word in the tag team contention. In that tag team division, if you can beat the number one contenders and they become champions, you got to believe a title opportunity will come your way. I look at not look at Naito. <laughs> oh, elbow drop there. Goes for a quick cover. Tony Natoli. When you go from Tetsuya Naito to Tony Natoli, it really tongue twists you. But Tony Natoli tried for a leg drop, got caught with a power bomb. And now Corvo Jack looking to end things. There we go up on the shoulders, looking for the Master Blizzard. Had his French for broken neck. And that could be the victory. One, two. Ooh, kick out by Natoli. Corvo Jack caught him at the right place at the right time. An attack made the teaser. See if he can finish off Tony Natoli. Oh, as he drops the forearm right across the face. But a counter by Natoli. Off the ropes now, looking, looking to just run the ropes. Oh, and a stump to the ribs. There he goes, up on the shoulders. Oh, and a gut buster. As he slowly picks Natoli back, not Natoli, um, Tizza back up. Looking suplex counted. And here we go, brings him down for an arm bar. Oh, sharp shot to the knee and an arm drag. We got him right where he wanted between Natoli and Flynn Adams. Oh, and there's a leg drop he couldn't hit on Corvo. And an Irish whip into the corner. Shot to the face. Tizza about to go to a place he doesn't want to go. But no man would want to go. And that is to the outside via Superplex. And that could be it for Natoli for um, Tizda. But remember, no countouts in NCW. It totally looked like he wanted to get back in the ring, but that is not going to happen as Tizda has recovered. Arshwip into the ring, followed up with that sharp elbow strike. Here we go, Jack's the jaw, Tizza staggered. And a European uppercut to knock him down. Look at this, makes attack to the pretty boy. Tizza crawls across the ring. Tag made to Corvo Jack. Ducks the close on nails his own. It's Corvo Jack in a two on one situation at the moment, but he is doing well against the pretty boy. And here he goes, looking for that float over Jawbreaker. breaker 
But an Irish whip from Flynn Adams. Sharp elbow. There he goes, hooks the head, looking suplex counter into the neck breaker. Now the pretty boy looking for the spine buster. Oh, but a counter by Corvo Jack into the DDT. Shot to the face, Corvo Jack looking belly to back suplex. He picks up the pretty boy once again. Looking for another float over Joel Breaker. From back to back almost. One, two. Ooh, the pretty boy able to kick out there. Corvo Jack as the, as the um, senior doesn't want to lose here in front of his rookie. Oh, what a European uppercut from Flynn Adams brings down Corvo Jack. A tag made to Natoli. But can Natoli get the job done? Natoli now going top rope. And there he goes. Oh, tried for a splash, misses the target. And Corvo Jack now taking advantage of the knee. Thought he was thinking maybe Crow's beak there. Oh, this time locks it in. Is Natoli gonna tap? That vicious knee bar, the Crow's beak. Natoli could tap out in this tag match if he doesn't want to get hurt before his big title opportunity. But Corvo Jack released the knee there. As he drags Natoli across the ring. Oh, and Tizda taking the pinfall opportunity. One, two. Ooh, could have been three, but Corvo Jack wasn't able to stop Flynn Adams. But he was then. Both men, both number one contenders for the tag titles are down. But Tizda may be making a mistake here going after the illegal man. I think there may have been a mistake there from Tizda going for the wrong man. Oh, and there's a leg drop. And an Irish whip now into the corner. And look at these sharp stomps there by Natoli. Tag made there by Flynn Adams. Tizda getting the beat down from the chick magnets. Kicked it up. Chat. Cover. That could be it for Tizda. One, two. Ooh, kick out. But Tony Natoli taking care of business. Taking out Corvo Jack. But Tizda able to fight back there. But a German, no, counter. Big uppercut right to the jaw, but an Irish whip into the corner. Tag made off the ropes. What a team these two men have become with that double arm drag suplex. Matizda not going down. He wants to win this, and here he goes. Alleyu. Face buster, but a kick to the face, and Natoli with the clothesline. There he goes now. Irish whip into the corner. Thought he was looking for maybe a tag team maneuver. But oh, he wanted to bust him open. Here's the now Irish whip across the across the across the ring but what's he got in mind here up on the top rope
Possibly looking suplex. Looks like superplex. Natoli is down. Tizza. Irish whip back into the corner. Oh, and now payback is going to be certainly a bitch. A Tizza now something away at Natoli. Corvo Jack getting in to get some of his own. But a world of trouble here for Tony Natoli. Corvo Jack comes flying in with a drop kick. Here we go, looking, looking for the pinfall. One, two. Ooh. Kick out there by Natoli, but what's Corvo Jack thinking here? Frog splash via slingshot. Or springboard, I should say. And an Irish whip into the corner. Corvo Jack now. Looking for the revolution. And that could be it for Natoli. But no, Corvo Jack wants to put the nail in the coffin with the Monterey Brazier. And that could be it. If Corvo Jack can get him away from Flynn Adams, he could easily pick out pick up this upset victory one two no maybe hitting that move too close to the ropes could have cost Corvo Jack there a little bit but a high knee oh and there's that leg drop to the back of the neck but an Irish whip over the rope Tag made to Tizda. Corvo Jack leaves it up to his rookie now. What's in mind? Oh, trust to bring Tizda goes. And here we go. Tag made. Sets him up for the Lady Slayer. And that could be it. One, two, no. Tizda somehow able to kick out of it. They are the chick magnets. They believe they slayed the ladies. They are the worst kind of heels. But Tizda still recovering. Oh, as he eats that power bomb. And a perfect setup there by the pretty boy as he comes in with a frog splash. Tizza can't even get on his feet, but there's a knee to the gut. And here he goes. Knee breaker. And a dragon whip. Definitely working on that knee of the pretty boy, but the pretty boy able to dodge a shot to the back. And here he goes looking back suplex. No, face buster. As Flynn Adams tried to crawl away, but no, wasn't able to escape. Tizda now going top rope. What's in mind? There he goes. What's he waiting for? What's he lining up for? Giving Flynn Adams too much of an opportunity. He didn't. I don't think he wanted to risk it. But an Irish whip into the corner. Spear. And now belly to belly suplex. That's Flynn Adams looking for that spine buster. But counter goes for that knee again. Irish whip into the corner now. Another counter. And across the ring, Tizda goes. And tag made to Tony Natoli. And here we go. The Lady Slayer. And that could be it. Corvo not moving. But it didn't have to. Tizda able to survive the Lady Slayer for a second time. Maybe he doesn't slay the ladies. 
We go up and down with a Mikinochu driver. Off the ropes, club shot. Tisda putting on a hell of a performance tonight. And now looking suplex. And another leg drop. Tisda's face busted wide open. But still able to fight with blood in his eyes. Looking for a tag by Corvo Jack. Not making it. Clothesline. Another one. Tisda will not stay down. But how much damage has this done to his body? As Flint Adams looking to take a golden opportunity. One. Oh, breakout there by Corvo. If we if he's gonna lose, it's not gonna be by cheap shenanigans. But look at his amateur style. Squeezing out of the oxygen, out of the lungs, out of the body of Tisda. And here he goes. Looking for the knee breakers. And up for the counter. Using his body weight against Flynn Adams. He out of the ring now. Begging him to stand. What's he got in mind? Uh, over the top. Diving cross body. Sacrificing life and limb. And looking to make a tag again this time. The Corvo Jack accepts it. Corvo Jack going up to the second rope. Can he make this jump? He's not known for high flying. Here he goes. Goes to the top. Oh, but he gets caught. Flynn Adams catches him. And hangs him up on the top rope. Now Irish whip into the corner. Doesn't go for the Lady Slayer this time. He goes to set him up on the top and to the outside super flex Blech. to Corvo Jack Tony Natoli hit one on Tisda earlier in the match fans are on their feet for these four athletes but who's going to get the opportunity I mean, we already know who's going to get the opportunity, but who's going to walk away with the momentum? Corvo almost to the corner. But Flynn Adams stopping him with that leg drop to the leg. There he goes, cover. One, two. Ooh, kick out. You can see how much it's draining these four men. Blood in the eyes of Natoli and Tisda. Corvo Jack. And Flynn Adams can barely stand. But here we go. Reversal. Cross the ring. But another counter. Looking maybe Snake Eyes, but got countered there with the inverted DDT. Corvo Jack now. Looking for that float over jaw breaker. But still not done. But a counter there by the pretty boy. How, mu how much longer can these men keep going? A right hook. Up on the shoulders. The Mashre Brazil. And that could be it for the pretty boy. A cover Jack needs to make that cover. Drags him away from the rope. And goes for the pin. One, two, no. 
and Tizza there was able to stop Tony Natoli. Here he goes, looking gut wrench, suplex. Corvo Jack now, what's he got in mind? Up on the shoulders, maybe going to look for that Monterey Brazier again. No, hangs him up on the rope. But a boot to the face there by the pretty boy. This is just a classic between two technical teams. So you gotta figure that this is draining on all four men up on the shoulders and looking for that backpack stunner. The pretty breaker. And here we go, pin. Oh, Batista there to break it up. Tony Natoli back in the ring as well. The two bloodied men going at each other. But Tony Natoli not as bad as Tizda is. As he nails that blockbuster from the second rope. Tag made. And here comes Natoli. Corvo Jack is down. Corvo Jack is alone. And Tony Natoli looking to end things. Oh, blocks it. And an Irish whip into the corner now. Here he goes off. Bulldog out of the corner and here comes the clotheslines from Corvo Jack three vicious clotheslines and there's a revolution boot a revolution here we go up down neck breaker and a blue and a snap mare breaker it's not over yet here we go Corvo able to counter inverted DDT oh and a super kick by Corvo can he end it looking once again for the Machere Brazier that could be it for the pretty boy or for one of the chick magnets I should say one two three Corvo Jack and Tisda with an upset victory over the number one contenders these two teams went back and forward and what could have been one of the best tag team matches in NCW history But what's that say for the number one contendership? Respect from the mentor to the student. Tonight they got the job done. But you gotta ask yourself, what is the damage to the Tizda?